We now learn how to do a chi-square test with our TI Inspire calculator. We can see here that we have an observed frequency table, as well as columns which represent colors, and the rows which represent gender. So this would correspond to a typical example in which we're studying whether or not color preference and gender are independent. So let's go right ahead and learn how to find the chi-squared value, the p-value, as well as the expected frequency table with our TI. Looking at my TI here, we can see that I'm on the home page. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new document. That's the first option in the right-hand column there. So I click New Document. Now that that's done, I go ahead and add calculator. Again, that's the first option. There we go. Before doing a chi-squared test with our TI, we have to start by storing the values we had in our observed frequency table inside a matrix. And here's how to do that. We click on Menu, and we then select the seventh option, Matrix and Vector. We then select Create, and the first option, Matrix. And it's now asking us for the number of rows as well as the number of columns. Looking back at our observed frequency table, we can see that we have two rows, male and female, and four columns. So we go ahead and leave the number of rows as two, and the number of columns we change to four. We then click OK. Now all we have to do is copy all the values we had in our observed frequency table inside our matrix. So we have 46, 24, 12, 18, 35, 49, 53, and finally 13. Now that we've entered the values inside the matrix, we need to actually store this matrix inside the calculator's memory. So before hitting enter, here's what I do. I click towards the right hand side here to make sure that I'm out of the matrix, and I now click on Control var And in fact, we can see in blue above the var button, the letters STO, as in store. And I now give this matrix a name. Since this matrix corresponds to our observed frequency table, I'll go ahead and call it OBS, as in observed. Now I click enter. Done. Now that we've stored the observed frequency table inside a matrix, we're ready to run the chi-square test. And for that, we go ahead and click on menu, followed by the sixth option statistics, followed by the seventh option stat tests. The chi-square test is the eighth option, which is the chi-squared two-way test. So I click on that. The calculator now prompts us to choose our observed matrix. And this is why it's so important to store the observed frequency table inside a matrix to begin with. If I select on the drop-down menu, I see there's only one possibility, and that's the matrix we just stored and named OBS. So I click on that. I then click OK. And the chi-square test is now done. We can see in this table here we have everything we need. The chi-squared value is 27.8369. The p-value is 0 0.000004. We can also see df, which stands for degrees of freedom, which is 3. And we can also see here exp matrix. Now that stands for expected matrix, and although it doesn't show the expected matrix automatically, we can easily find it. All we have to do is click on the var button of our calculator, and we can see here the stat.exp matrix that we have here. If I click on it, I can now see the name stat.exp matrix here, and I click enter, and there it is. That's our expected frequency table for this chi-square test. And there we have it. That's how to do a chi-square test with the TI Inspire CX. And that's it for this tutorial.